Hello there, I am Verity and I'm here with my good friend Jake. Welcome to Young Staff, where we talk about everything and anything millennial. And no, you don't have to be a millennial to watch, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Our big stories tonight are the millennial drug scene, one millennial's ambition to change the world one surf score at a time, and London's most popular food markets. Not to mention, we'll be having our special guest, uh, Nightlight, joining us later. To start off the night, Pablo will be talking about relationship between millennials and drugs. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm Pablo Galdo, and I sat down with three teenage Londoners to discuss their experiences with drugs. How are you doing, bro? How are you doing? Good. I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank you. Good. So, um, when and what was the um, what was your first time doing drugs? Uh, I smoked my first joint with my brother hmm. when I was like 13, 14. Okay. Well, I first took a bong rip at a pool party in Istanbul and that was my first time trying weed. So yeah, I guess that was my first time trying any, any type of drug, yeah. Uh, the first time I took drugs, I was about 13 or 14 years old. I was in the woods behind my school with one of my best mates, Jasper. And I think it was called Blue Dragon or something. It was one of those legal highs that you just like, sprinkle on your cigarette. And I just remember like giggling and pissing myself for about four or five hours. What well, Blue Dragon? What is it? It was like a legal high at the time. Legal highs were quite popular because they were readily available, and we didn't really know what was like what the side effects were. Now we know they're really, really addictive and can be really damaging to your head. But I, I would see people smoking on like music videos, TVs, and what I would see in music videos kind of like made me feel like I wanted to like at least try it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And you know, like the, the, especially the music I listen to, like, you know, they'd be talking about like Molly, Percocets, like Vans, <laughs> you know, weed, and I was just like, what the fuck are those? Like, how does that feel, you know? Like, would you say um, doing drugs has helped you? Um, that was with emotions before. Sadly, yes. Sad to say, obviously. Sucks. You know, at some point, man, I feel real, real low. Then obviously you turn to drugs, you know what I'm saying? But for some people, their life is low uh, all the time. We have so 40 seconds to go. So they're always on drugs. They need to constantly be high. Let everybody so know. So you don't regret being high on I hope on we're all drugs. ready. Like when you've been high, so you don't, you've never fine. regretted it. Um, uh, you know, to be fair, I've had moments uh, where Tell them that they start with so camera the next one. Morning, I remember, like, you can't oh, experience yeah, that feeling in any other aspect of life. So I think, like, the trip gave me a lesson, hmm. kind of thing. I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know, you know, but uh, uh, some people come out different. Okay, like, coming out of Pink Team in person. Hope 10, you found a new insight. 9, Don't eight, do drugs, kids. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, a few presenters. Go. A cue camera two. Take camera two. Cue camera one. Um. So what? Take camera one. Making music. What was your first point? Um. Well, I started making music last year. Take camera two. Like it was this time last year. So I was in a bit of a dark place in my life. So I just thought, okay, let me just hold back and just push people out because I felt like people blurred my vision of where I wanted to go with myself as Take what I'm studying as well. It's like two different worlds I'm trying to battle on. 
Take, but what are you studying? Take a uh, civil engineering. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, love of the music and a love of fashion as well. But yeah, I started music and the name Nightlight came up when I could only write in like the late nights and the early mornings. And it was either Nightlight or Past Worms. But I stuck with my gut and said Nightlight sounded better. Take on a run. Um, More mystical. So what, what are you, some of your musical influences? Who do you really look up to? Um, well, Tupac. Take on yeah. mainly, t- mainly Tupac. Mm-hmm. Cucumber and then too? Others like Take J. Cole, okay. Kendrick. Like, to be honest, I'm trying Take to bring more conscious track. rapping because I feel like what they, the kids hear nowadays is just it blinds them so much to like trapping and yeah. trying to right. get money and show off. But like, there's more to it. Yeah. Music is for the soul. Soul food. That's what I was talking about. That's nice. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, so obviously you, you kind of briefly mentioned your love of fashion. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, this is street. my brand. It's called Kanketsu. Uh, mm-hmm. It translates into sim- uh, simplicity in Japanese. That's really nice. cool. So like, uh, is Japanese kind of like... Uh, oh, yeah, Japanese like, thing, like quite an influence for you? Yeah, that's how I started. Because I, I used to like... It was basically a photography mentioned. coursework I had to do, just researching the Japanese Japan art. Mentioned. But then I started looking at paintings and how they used to use their stroke and like just how precise everything was and how simple it was, yet so iconic. So from that, that's where I started using like paintbrush. This was once like two paintbrush marks, like these, but then I tried to add a little bit of edge to it. So do you have any new projects coming up with fashion or music? Uh, Yeah, music I'm planning to perform sometime soon uh, locally in Brighton. I'll definitely send you an invite. And fashion-wise, I'm having a fashion show this summer, hopefully, and get a couple local artists to come perform. Oh, that's really cool. Like, um, how have you found, like, kind of, Setting up things like that, do you do like um, see somebody who's up and coming? Like, well, is it difficult to organize? Literally, what I did, I walked into the pub. I was like, "Is there any way we can perform?" Or what, me and Sir Lovely performing in the pub, seconds. and he was like, "Yeah." I feel, I feel, I feel like I spoke to the lucky, like the best guy in the pub at that point, because he was two? just there and he gave me Take his card. So <laughs> That's nice. It's opened up more doors. That's Take awesome. Uh, like, do you have uh, any advice? for anybody starting up basically. I mean, obviously I know you haven't been doing it too long, but um, it's the... Just keep it consistent. Okay, believe in yourself and just Take know that you one. have it, even though others don't see it, but... Let's wrap this up. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. Thank you so much for no, joining right. us Thank tonight. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time we have left with Nightlight, uh, but make sure to stick around for his live performance at the end of the show. Um, our next story is how some millennials are becoming positive forces for change like Mikey. Mikey is helping kids in Brazil with his surf school. Here's Jake to, here's Jake to meet the man at making waves across the sea. Take. Oh my gosh, okay. Whew, uh, we've done it. Okay, guys, now interview with Jake. Jake is sitting in the chair. Uh, so, um, um, Gabby, do you remember that we start with both of them and then zoom into Verity? Hi, Mikey. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Good. Hello, what's good? Great. You're the best. So, um, um clearly, Cass, like, uh, just you are, yeah, money. zoom like, in um, uh, so like and what did you, like, kind of set and up the yeah, to do? Good. And you're in Goma, um, Green Screen. So, I set up Goma as a company, <laughs> kind of like a social enterprise. Yeah, Green Screen. Uh, but um, Alex? Um, uh, Rim, Rim, we can move. Uh, um, uh, so we, we can move we over to like these black characters. Uh, and they stand on their own as being. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, just a bit on. Um, just go left, kind of left, left. So we can, so we can sip all in. What are you thinking about? Where do you want to go forward? With, like with okay, Goma, like um, um, what's your next plan? I guess. Um, Yes, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's okay. Okay, uh, Gabby, what did you ask? Uh, Mackie, do you want to bring up the one? It looks good, it looks good. Maybe a bit on left, okay. just a bit. Um, so yeah, good. Get okay, just three. Yeah. 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 You need to, to come out wider. Cool stuff that helps people. Much wider, much wider, and center. I think I want to want to work with a couple interesting projects around the UK. down, tilt down, tilt down. I think there's a lot of focus on London. Uh, in terms of PR okay, you can get it uh, tilt up a little uh, bit and get a touch cool closer. Stuff going on elsewhere. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. Okay, and, and, um, and obviously, kind of like your latest crop. project is obviously yeah, in Brazil. So, uh, like, what did you, what do you want to do with that project? Uh, All right, so um, that came about from a trip I did. Is that how is that, is that okay for her? Um, I was teaching her okay. there Alex, and ended up uh, teaching me surfers also, English. Um, I was hanging out you with them and they uh, taught me to surf uh, because I taught them English. Like slowly because um, you can read. And they, I realised they were doing a really cool thing, okay. helping kids uh, in the we'll community learn to surf. We've got one school. minute left. One minute left. Good. So I really wanted to work with them in some way and help them out. 
just uh, in case. So okay, Gabby. Uh, just and, uh, as Verity is talking, like she, she, uh, like she will tell the first phrase and we um, should just to show Jake the and just story. then go uh, to the previous okay. project. Okay. Forty like seconds until ago. the end of the VT. We worked Ooh. with Law Kana <laughs> and uh, Borough Market. Uh, what we did with those guys was uh, loyal. He's known for his music, but seconds. when he was growing up, used cooking. He has ADHD. And uh, not a lot of people knew that at the time. And okay, uh, tell Verity to be ready. We're going really like 20 seconds. Kind of unparalleled piece with it. Uh, so me and him partnered together uh, to create a cooking school 15, for young 14, people with ADHD. 13, and that was, that was the first time when I realized 10, that's what I wanted 9, to do with Goma, those 8, community projects. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Q 1. Q presenters? Hey, Jake. Hi. <laughs> Um, so, can you, you tell time. me a bit more about Mikey? Um, what kind of started um, his company? What Did he have an idea to start it up? or uh, take I think, uh, I mean, Mikey is kind of one of those awful guys where if he puts his mind to something, he's going to be successful at it. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> so, um, he just kind of wanted to make some change. Yeah. And um, so, he just set up this, this social enterprise and started doing work and just got some collaborations Take with some big on. people like, like and Converse and stuff. And yeah. Is there a way we can all support him? Uh, yeah, I, I would Take say the main on. way is to, because um, through his company, Goma, they, uh, they sell like t-shirts and skateboards, like skateboards okay. is their big thing. Like, um, and so just, just by, by helping that and just like spreading the word is always, yeah. it's always helpful. Take I could do with a skateboard, so. <laughs> um, so has he noticed that um, the mainstream media um, has helped his work get out there at all? Like, has he been noticed at all by, you know, mainstream uh, companies? I think he's definitely been noticed a bit. Like, uh, I know that he has done a little bit of work with, uh, with Penguin Books. Like, okay. he did, uh, like, a podcast with them. And mm -hmm. so I think, um, I think he hasn't broken through to, like, big, big companies, but yeah. he's definitely starting to get out there a bit, which is, which is really important he's doing good work. That's amazing. And do you know of any other projects that he's working on? Um, I don't know about anything specifically. I know that he wants to do some stuff uh, in the UK, but try and work kind of outside of London to help okay. people kind of like, because there's always lots of things going on in London, yeah. but he just obviously wants to make sure that like, the whole country needs, like, there are young helped. people yeah. everywhere and everybody needs help, you know, definitely. so he's definitely trying to just the th th spread his love everywhere. Is he inspiring everywhere. other millennials across the scene? Um, like, I would hope so. I yeah. can't necessarily say that. I, I yeah. know after talking to him, I was definitely inspired. Inspired, yeah. You know, like, uh, is after he, the video too. Yeah, like he's he's genuinely just he's okay. a, just like a lovely guy, and I, I kind of I kind of want to be him a little bit, you know. <laughs> but just a little. Yeah, <laughs> I understand that. Um, okay, amazing. Um, okay, so, yeah. how can how <laughs> what was another way that Mikey inspired you? Does he have anything else going on? What have been, like, what are other projects that he's done? Um, I know uh, something that uh, we didn't get a chance to, to talk about, but we kind of talked about on camera was uh, he, like, one of the first projects he did was uh, one that kind of inspired me the most is when he was working uh, in Nepal, kind of worked with Converse, and uh, they sent people out there to Nepal to build up the DIY skate scene, and, like, it's just... Take cool. camera one. Yay, amazing. Um, so now it's time for Police Corner, uh, where our millennial soon. expert talks about all the latest trends. This week's topic is food. Hey, Pauline. Take Hello, and welcome to my corner. Our generation has set up a precedent of going out restaurants less while eating in, at street vendors and food markets more. People debate whether it's because millennials can't afford sit-in dinners or if they simply are too busy for them. Uh, Not to mention with street see. vendors and food markets, millennials have the chance to taste their way around. The globe, especially in diverse cities like London. One of our reporters, Gabby, went out to discover London's best food markets. Okay, so we've got three minutes of this VT. Okay, just lose this uh, green space scene. And um, yeah, Gabby, you're doing Verity. And guys are going on the left and right. Can you just press the blue and turn Yeah, so you have to let me know. Um, okay, uh, Gabby, 
Gabby, you are in the shot of cat, so can you move a bit? Um, yeah, okay. Cat, yeah, cat, just like go a bit. I more interested Okay. Once we like, just just go a bit left, okay? Hey guys, we're in Camden today. But we we start with you, so basically, Gabby. Okay, like right now is good. Right now is is good. Rain. Okay, are you ready to start the track? Okay, so just wait for us. Basically, when we cut I've out of the VT, um, when we uh, Verity cues up the, the artist to start, uh, we'll cue you to start the track, but you can start the track uh, at that moment once, once, uh, once she says that, you know, we're going over to Nightlife, okay? Cool. Um, uh, Kat, can you unzoom? Or, 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 no, 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 what I'm talking Unfocus, so, and then when I say you'll go focus. And we've got one minute of this VT left. So we're in Chin Chin Labs in um, Camden. We're gonna get some hot chocolate. You too, fine. It's fine, it's fine. 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 The classic hot chocolate here at Chin Chin Labs. I'm very excited to try it. We've got toasted marshmallow. I think we've got a little bit of cinnamon, and of course, the logo in chocolate. Let's taste it and see. And there's 30 seconds. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. 20 seconds. Okay, cucumber one. 15 seconds. That's all we've got today for Camden. Um, make sure you stop by, get Ten, a couple treats. It's nine, a fun day out. Eight, That's all I've got seven, here. Back to you in the six, studio. Five, four, three, two. Cue presenter. One. Well, guys, that is all the time we have left for tonight. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us. Um, now, to help us close the show, as we promised, is our musical guest, Nightlight. A uh, cue music. Mm. Uh, take camera turn. Okay, uh, cue camera one. Take camera one. Uh, Kira, what are you doing? Uh, uh, okay, take camera two. Cat, start to zoom in. Cat, zoom in. Good. Uh, cue camera three. Take camera three. I'm talking about my moves. The light got me the one. Me so, so, so violent cause I'm trying to keep Take camera one. Cry you let me hear it. I'm you camera uh, two. Take camera two. You camera three. I'm talking to Take camera three. Uh, uh Gabby, go go on uh up. Go 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 up. I'm a fucking uh, cat, killer, uh, unzoom, uh, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, good, um, cue camera three, take camera three, uh, cue camera one, 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 uh, Okay, uh, camera two, zoom, uh, 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 cat, zoom in, uh, cue camera, take camera two, and zoom out, um, cue camera three, take camera two, take camera two, uh, uh, Gabby, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, to up, to up, to up, good, um, uh, Q, uh, take camera two. Uh, yeah, good, time. good. I'm zoom so in, cat, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Uh, Q camera one. Zoom in. Take camera one. Uh, 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 take cam
Q camera uh, two. Take camera two. Okay, wait, uh, Q wow. camera three. Thank you, man. Take camera three. Thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you, everyone, and good night. We'll see you next week on Youngster! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> From my laptop. Okay. Yeah, kind of. Works. And cut.